no one else created um, 32 piano sonatas to compare with these of Ludwig van Beethoven. So here we are, <coughs> here we are, it's still Monday, Thursday in the year 2021 and I'm alive, there's a remarkable thing. Well, now, the current president of the United States of America, I think, is 78. Mr. Joe Biden, lovely wife, and apparently he rescues old rescue German Shepherd dogs, you see. Now, my mother would say, I love German Shepherd dogs. I've had four in my life. Um, a man who loves his dogs can't be all mad, but apparently the dog... <laughs> nipped a security guard or something. <laughs> bad, bad boy. But all the poor old dog was doing is saying, look, you've stuffed me in this stonking great White House and there are all these strangers about and I know you and my duty is to defend the family against all these foreigners and strangers and people I don't know. So I'll just give them a little nip. <laughs> See, so from the dog's point of view, and remember, he's a German Shepherd dog. He's not a wolf. He's taken many thousands of years to become a Shepherd dog. Um, it's perfectly sensible. Give them a little nip on the ankle. You know, say, who, who are you to come so close to my family? <laughs> That was a nice little item I saw on the news to lighten the load of all the other stuff. Look, the world's a mess. It's always been a mess. I do take a point of listening to the news. <coughs> By and large, Radio 4, various news programmes through the day and the evening and night and so on. Fine. You learn all sorts of stuff. So... I am just one single human being <coughs> with my own experiences and perspective on life and beliefs and all the rest of it. Now, I'm not humanistically wealthy because apart from anything else, I'm totally not interested in making loads of money. It just has never interested me. So. Well, you know, that's that's my perspective on it. <laughs> Perhaps I'm no good at making money, but whatever. Anyway, I've, I've never done that. So there we are. That's the end of that one. They'll come and go. St. Francis of Assisi will remain because he was a beautiful spirit who loved God through Christ and the poor Clares. Now, that's what I try to be good at. Loving God through Christ. Well, there are two commandments. It's always the same. Love God, love your neighbor as yourself. <coughs> right. 
how I love God. Well, I don't know. I pray and I sing sometimes and I sit quietly quite a lot of the time. Now, how to love my neighbour? That's the problem for me as myself. If they're behaving badly. And it just is not simple. I mean, if you look at the centuries, especially in matters of faith, where the sort of authorities have tried to enforce their, I hate those signs that say enforcement cameras. I used to drive up and down the Finchley Road coming into London, I mean, since the 60s, actually. Well, no, I wasn't driving in the 60s, I'm only 64. But anyway, I was there since on the bus since the 60s, 1960s. And they've got these enforcement cameras that says, I am an enforcement camera. Enforcement, the word enforcement. Ooh. It's an extraordinary thing, but we Brits have a sense of, of fair play and we're all, you know, free people, men, women and children, we're, we're free to be, <laughs> as long as we're not impinging upon someone else's similar freedom to be, then it's sort of all right. And devil take the hindmost, really. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. Why can't people love God through Christ? That's just... If one were doing sound bites on my films, you could just cut this little section into just a few seconds, like a half-minute slot. Old Francis, blethering on usual, really cut that bit with all that. Old Francis saying, love God, love your neighbour as yourself. Amen.